There's the first order. First order is always the scariest. Uh, trust me, it is. What's going on, guys? It's Why Not Here, along with uh, Andre. We are going to bring you a video on doing your first DoorDash order, because I know how scary it is. We're going to go through it with you and give you a little sneak peek on how we do it professionally. Or, yeah, like professionally. <laughs> so stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. Currently, we are six minutes away from the restaurant. Six minutes. We just got this uh, order about two minutes ago. We're keeping track. The time right now is 6.55. So we got the order at about 6.53. It wants us to pick it up by 7.15, which I think we're gonna definitely beat. If you haven't seen my last video, go ahead and uh, watch that one, then come to this one, because this one's gonna be a follow-up to that one. Uh, so right now, we're gonna go ahead and get there. We're gonna see how fast we can do this. And my goal all the time is to try and get the food to them by the time they want you to pick the food up from the restaurant. So we're gonna try to get the food to them by 7.15. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so we're here at the restaurant now. Speed, everything is about speed. Get out, oh my God, go. All right, now you're gonna go ahead and get your credit card out. Is it already paid? No. So he's gotta get his credit card out and pay for it right now. Make sure you have that credit card. If not, you're screwed. If not, you can just cancel the order. Go yeah. and press help in the right corner. Say you do not have your red card. And then go on to another order. Um, I, if I were you, I wouldn't do that because your rating does go down. <laughs> you don't want your rating to go down because you get less orders. Just go sit down somewhere. Hey, you wanna... So now we just uh, went ahead and ordered. Sometimes you do have to order. All you want to do is walk in. Go to the nearest register, honestly. That's all you have to do. Some people have signs that say takeout. Go to takeout and say you're for DoorDash. And then I ask for the name of the customer. I'm going to tell them. And if the customer already paid, that's good. If not, get the card out. And now currently we are just waiting for the food. Once food gets here, we are getting out of here and taking it straight to them. So it is currently 7:10. I wanted to get the food by 7:10 and leave here. The guy doesn't live too far away, so I mean, we'll still see. I don't think we're gonna be able to hit the 7:15 mark. We definitely gotta get there by 7:22 though. And hopefully, they bring out the food in the next 10 minutes. Dude, what? <laughs> And of course, while you're waiting, have some fun. Talk to the ladies. Get water if you need to. Because it could take a little while. We've been here for 11 minutes now. Okay, so unfortunately now, looking at the time, it is 7.16. We still have not gotten the food. So this is not our fault. Of course, usually this could happen to you guys. It does. really does happen. 721 still at the restaurant. We're definitely not going to be able to make it by the uh, drop off time. So we're going to let the customer know that we are running late because of the restaurant, not because of us. <laughs> you definitely want to do that so they don't give you a bad rating. Right now, look at guys. Sorry to keep you waiting. No problem. Time to get to his house or apartment. And as soon as you, you get into your car, I would usually go ahead and click these and do the pickup. That that lets the customer know we're on our way. Here and give him a call. 
Oh, I, I think I'm on the door. Oh, perfect. I didn't see the door number. There you go. Yeah, good. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. That's honestly it. I mean, <laughs> we got lucky and got straight to this door. And there weren't even there aren't even door numbers on these doors, which you'll probably never experience. Yeah, that was really, like, <laughs> that was something unusual. Never happened to me before. Glad we got it on film. <laughs> yeah, very unusual. So definitely don't let this deter you from doing it. It's super easy to figure out, honestly, the best way is just to call the customer, text the customer, let them know. Just always let the customer know what's going on. If you're running late, or if the restaurant's running late, you just can't find it. Other than that, we're gonna try to get another order here right now and see if that's gonna go a lot smoother. <laughs> and then as soon as you're done with it, you're gonna come here, let them know if the thing went right, and you let them know if it did or didn't, and this one obviously didn't. This and one should wow. be a lot better, Chipotle. Yeah, okay. and we just finished, and they just gave us another one for 550. Gonna accept. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one and hopefully this one turns out a lot better than, <laughs> than the last one. Dude, I'm driving. Yeah. So on this one, the Chipotle run, it says to pick up by 7.43 and it is 7.34 right now. We're gonna try to get it to them by 7.43. That's always my goal when I'm doing these things, is trying to get it to them by the pickup time. So we are almost there and it is still 7.35. Should be picking up it. 743, 737 right now. Nope, oh, there's no here, so we have to wait. Is that it? Yeah. Double check, make sure. Yeah. Don't get hit, don't get hit. Go, I don't care. Oh shit. I don't oh. care. <laughs> It's up we gotta get the customer's food! <laughs> we got it. We got two minutes. So the GPS says we are five minutes away and we'll get there at 7.47. Okay, we did get here at the GPS time, 7.47. That is actually 10 minutes early. The customer's gonna be happy. I'm gonna be happy because I did it really quick. More money. Money. This, I'm telling you, this is so easy. We just made $10 in, what was it? 20 minutes? That's so Andre, how'd you feel about that uh, order? That one went a lot more smoothly. Uh, the food came out quick. Customer was very nice. Um, delivered it early, it was very nice. Very good delivery. That's how it typically should be, and that's how it typically is. That last delivery was just, very like unusual and very hard. Once you're done with the order, it's just gonna, this is gonna pop up, letting you know if you either had a good order or a bad order. You can give them a rating, um, but I like to just press continue done. and go ahead and skip that process and then you get another delivery. But since we're done, I'm gonna go ahead and end the dash and see how much we got for the day. So it looks like the bonus ended right before we started dashing. So we made $14.50 in how long? in an hour because that first delivery was a little um it just took longer than usual so that's why you want to be quick and run to the customers and run to the store you might look kind of crazy but that's really what you want to do if you want to get the most money in an hour or so so 14 dollars an hour he probably spent on probably maybe a dollar in gas because mm. his dart his car gets like 27 miles a gallon and we didn't go that far so 1475 what 1450 or 14, yeah, 1450 1450 in one hour I mean, it's $14.50 in one hour. Where are you going to make that? At? You can't make that in McDonald's. You can't really make that anywhere right and, now. And you're your own boss. You can start start whenever you want, end whenever you want. You don't have some boss breathing down your neck. Um, I literally just worked for an hour. Most jobs have to work for a minimum like four hours or so. And that was with no bonus. Mm -hmm. No bonus. No bonus. We were supposed to have a 350 bonus, but <laughs> it's literally stopped right when we started. Usually the bonus from dinner time is like five to seven, I think. And it's, we started right at seven, so the bonus went away. Yeah, and usually every delivery you're gonna get, it's gonna be right around f between four and $10 without any bonus. So ours were a steady 550, obviously. I wanted to show you guys this uh, personally. I wanna give you 100, 100% clean cut, and no cheating, anything like that. So you guys can really see what's going on. All I have to say is if you're first, just first starting out, it's. It's gonna be scary for you for the first three or four times, but if you didn't notice in this video, you can have someone come with you like we did right here 
And we were having fun, just messing around, running around, and we're carrying a camera, which makes it way weirder when you walk into uh, <laughs> True, <laughs> restaurants and everything. Yeah. Everyone stares at you and looks at you weirdly, but when you're going to do that, the main thing is, if you haven't seen my last video, it's gonna be the speed. Trying to do things quickly, you're gonna make a lot more money a lot faster. Unfortunately, it all worked against us this uh, go around with waiting, what, 10 minutes past? It was about yeah. 10 minutes past when we were supposed Way to pick up. So that was the restaurant's fault. And then uh, we were able to pick it up a little bit with driving and it wasn't too far. Usually for me, when I'm doing it, the food is either ready or almost ready for me to pick up and I just get out of there. And you're not in there for more than maybe four minutes at a time, four to five minutes, and you're in and out. Now you can usually do a whole delivery process in under 20 minutes, which makes it a lot easier. So you save about $8 for every 20 minutes. Standard is gonna be 25, that's about $25 an hour, like standard. If you're a lot quicker and things a lot go a lot smoother and your bonuses are a lot better, you're gonna you're gonna get a lot more money, as you can see in my last video. If you haven't seen that, which if I were you, I should go, you should go check out. My name's Why Not, aka Mitch, and this is Andre. We're gonna be coming out with more videos. So if you do like our videos, well, you should like our videos. <laughs> Click that like button down below. Subscribe. We're gonna be coming out with a lot more videos, and we're gonna be actually going to Hawaii here in a month. And DoorDash paid for my trip to Hawaii which is gonna be awesome. So a little connection between the two. We're gonna to have tons of vlogs coming out through Hawaii and we're just, we're gonna have a blast. And hopefully you guys uh, wanna see that. If you do, subscribe. And if you wanna see any more DoorDash videos, leave us a comment down below and we'll try to do it. Thank you, bye.